Good morning, children to the world. I'm Samuel Hainan. I'm going to tell the second part of Esther. Where were we, children? If you have looked at this, this episode, um, you know where we are. But if you didn't look, you don't know where we are. But I'm going to tell it. We are when when uh, when Haman put his clothes on Mordecai, and Haman was very was very he was very angry because it wasn't for him, thinking that it was for him, but it was for Mordecai, and one day. The Queen Esther said, um, um, as I told you, Haman uh, wanted to plan to kill the, the Israelites. So she went to the royal palace, but she could die because the king didn't say that she must be come. But the king holded his royal scepter out and she could come. And now I have my Jesus here. Hi. And the, con the story continues. And she went to the king. She said, "Okay, oh, and um, in the morning, I'm going to make a, a I'm going to make the table with very much food to eat, and you shall come, and Haman shall come." And they came, and. She, the king said, what can I do for you, um, uh, my hum, honey, uh, another, another feast. And they came again to the other feast. And the king said to Esther, Esther, if you say that you want my kingdom, I shall give you half of my kingdom. Um, we are going to die because of someone. Who? Who is it? said the king. And she said, Haman. And the king said, Haman, how can you do this? But I didn't know, but I didn't know. Um, l let Haman be thrown in prison. Or be hanged, hanged actually. And Haman was hanged. What do we learn of the story? We learn of the story that that she helped her people and herself for not dying children. I see you on the next episode of a of the story of God. Bye! Samuel Hayden, Kisses and Hugs.